Welcome to Auburn University. We are a group of geography and natural resource students who embarked on a journey to Panama to study water resources, environmental management, and climate change issues within the Panama Canal watershed. A former U.S. military base, the City of Knowledge is currently a community of research and technological organizations from all over the world collaborating on multifaceted global issues. Housed within the City of Knowledge, Catholic focuses on water resource issues regionally. Catholic hosted the partnership with Auburn University for the 2016 Study Abroad program and provided opportunities to collaborate with organizations associated with the Panama Canal watershed. The primary reservoir of water for the Panama Canal, Gatun Lake is 425 square kilometers and has recently exhibited extreme water level loss due to a combination of environmental impacts from El Nino and possibly climate change. During our program, we had the opportunity to visit the hydrological measurement sites within Gatun Lake as well as the Chagres River, which is a major contributor of fresh water to the lake. Lying within the Panama Canal watershed, the Chilibre community is an impoverished region resulting from rapid urbanization and is currently receiving foreign investment from organizations such as the World Bank in order to improve living conditions. This is one of many examples of communities within Panama that are currently facing a myriad of developmental obstacles. In comparison, although rural, the City Grande community illustrates positive impacts following the involvement and leadership of the Panama Canal Authority, who provide educational and economic incentives to sustainably manage the lands of the watershed. The sense of community pride and ownership resulting from participation in the incentive program was apparent when meeting with local residents and hearing their personal accounts. During our visit to the Metropolitan Natural Park within Panama City, we observed the stark contrast between land conservation efforts, historical development, and urban mismanagement and planning. From the highest point in the park, the entire city was in full view, which made obvious the issues with development and income inequality. A hub for modern nightlife, Casco Viejo is a historical landmark comprising ancient ruins which formerly acted as the city center and point of defense. As a port, it is unique in that it holds a mixture of influences by the French, Spanish, and Caribbean cultures which can still be seen in the current architecture. One fascinating method being utilized in urban planning for Panama City is urban acupuncture, which is the notion that by placing small but unique changes in the urban landscape, developers can create a ripple effect promoting more widespread city rejuvenation. Situated on the Pacific side of the Panama Canal, the Miraflores Visiting Center serves as the main tourist attraction for observing the Miraflores locks of the canal. Within the Visiting Center, guided tours are provided through the museum, which allows visitors to learn about the rich history of the construction, operation, and impacts of the Panama Canal. The Miraflores Treatment Center is one of the main water treatment facilities in the country of Panama, and the water from this center serves a large portion of the city's population. Drawing water from the Gatun Lake, this treatment center is highly concerned with water management within the Panama Canal watershed. Although beautiful, the dense presence of lavish skyscrapers misrepresented the true economics at play. Ignoring much of the cultural architecture and economic needs of the citizens of Panama City, the skyscrapers overshadowed the inefficiency of land use planning that is currently going on. And lastly, protected by dual 17th century Spanish forts, the town of Portobello is located in the Colon province and is home to a prominent Afro-Panamanian community. Portobello is a stark contrast between 17th century Spanish architecture, such as the Church of San Felipe, and the more common colorful Caribbean structures. Portobello has access to some of the Caribbean's most beautiful and uninhabited beaches, only accessible by boat. The Afro-Panamanian community illustrated a unique fusion of African and Spanish cultures, as well as captured the long-term impacts of the Atlantic slave trade. I really enjoyed learning about various environmental and economic programs that are being implemented in Panama, as well as interacting with Catholic to gain an insider's perspective.
maybe the aha moment of my trip to Panama was actually being there and seeing the extent of the canal uh, is necessary to really understand what it's about. You know, when you look at a map in your like social studies or geography class, it's just a little slit, but actually being on a boat, going all the way up the watershed, passing massive Panamax sized ships, you kind of get like a feeling for it. You can grasp the concept more of how much really goes into it. For me, the study abroad program was extremely valuable and was a great opportunity for me to learn about all the different perspectives of the community. I'm very thankful for the opportunity I had to study abroad. Well, this was my first time traveling abroad and I can say it was a phenomenal experience. Learning about other people and different cultures uh, was very enlightening. And one particular instance, uh, through our time with Cadillac, they collaborated with the uh, Panama Canal Authority. And on an excursion, we visited the Panama, or the Panama Canal watershed and visited with a local farmer. A few years back, the APC implemented a watershed incentive program. And then that program was just solely for to maintain the watershed, which is very important. Juan, before the program, he was just normal Juan, a normal guy. But after participating in the program, he helps is helping global trade as you know just as well as providing drinking water for his for his country so uh, i study a lot of conservation agriculture and soil science and watershed management in general but usually what i do is just study i don't really get to see it um, applied so it was really nice going to the chilibre uh, uh, rural community and seeing uh, these these farmers actually apply the stuff that I study and know that it's actually going to use. Working with Catholic during the study abroad was a really wonderful experience. Uh, getting to witness firsthand the positive impacts they have in the region really showed me the power that a strong network of researchers and collaborators can have if they share a common goal. If given the opportunity, I would definitely love to work with them again in the future.